I wanted to take this moment to go over something real quickly with you guys. We're actually going to start a sister project to Dead Rabbit Radio. We're still going to do the podcast. It's still going to be the daily podcast. Nothing's going to change. The podcast comes first. I have a lot of fun doing this. I'm getting so much great feedback from you guys. That's awesome. What we're going to do, though, is we're going on the end of the podcast episodes, and they will be their own separate YouTube videos. We're going to have three to five minute short horror stories. And the reason why we're doing this is because I've always toyed around with the idea. The original concept of Dead Rabbit Radio was actually short stories. We weren't going to do what we're doing now. If you listen to the first five episodes, I ref- the, the podcast is called 14th Family. And the concept was this. There was going to be no podcast. What you would hear was only the last five minutes of the podcast. And then I would get to listener mail. And I was getting these short horror sto- these letters written to me. And they were short. They were stories saying, you know, please help me. This horrible thing's happening to me. And they're all going to be paranormal or conspiracy based. And it was going to be about unraveling the mystery that was going on with the 14th Family. Now, after about five episodes, I was really having so much fun doing the podcast as is that I ditched that idea. That idea also would have taken a lot of work, and it would have been a weekly episode. And knowing me, I would have got five, six episodes in, and then the workload would have been too much. And I was having so much fun doing the podcast that you hear now that I put that to the side. So again, the podcast will not go away. But I want to bring that idea back with the short horror stories. But with a little bit of a twist, we're going to have it aimed at a preteen teenage audience. Now, I know you guys are groaning, but I think that this works because it helps us build up our listenership. I'm looking at this long term now. When I started this podcast out, I was telling people, we'll do 50 episodes, we'll do 100 episodes, we'll reevaluate. We're at 61 episodes now, and it's going great. So now I'm thinking long term. Now I'm thinking two years, five years, how we're going to do this. My goal is we're going to put these little, the little clips at the end of the podcast are for you, the average podcast listener. My nephew listened to the show. He's nine or eight or something like that. He said it was boring. Fair enough. It's not for kids. But we're going to take these short little horror stories. We're going to put them on YouTube and we get these people to start listening to Dead Rabbit, the short horror stories when they're young. And as they get older, now they're 16, 17, 18, 19 they switch over to Dead Rabbit Radio. So now we're looking at long-term growth. It's going to give us more hits on YouTube, definitely, because they're going to be right. We're going to release them in October when everyone's Googling spooky stories. And we're going to have it on a separate playlist, but it's going to be on the same channel. It's going to increase our views. It'll allow us to monetize YouTube earlier. It'll allow us to monetize in full quicker. When we can get people to start searching for creepy, spooky horror stories, I don't want to dumb down the podcast to bring in a new audience. I want to give them a separate product. So I'm just letting you guys know. I hope you guys um, enjoy it. If you guys don't like it, that's fair, too. That's totally fair, too. I, I would hope that you enjoy it. I enjoy making them, but it's just it's not going to take away from the podcast. But you may see some other things. I'll, I'll announce it. And again, the podcast will end and then the story will begin. And then on the YouTube video, it will be a separate YouTube video as well. It'll be branded differently. So it's going to be the same concept. It's going to be people writing in, asking for help, and they're telling these scary stories. And it gives it that sense of believability for somebody who's younger. When I was talking to my nephew, I told him the idea. I said, you know, I'm thinking about doing short horror videos for kids. And when I say kids, again, I'm talking like preteen, teen. And he goes, but they have to be true. And I go, well, can I make them up but say that they're true? And it's funny because as a little kid, they don't want to hear a fake horror story. They want to hear a horror story that is real. They want to hear a horror story that's believable. When you tell a kid a horror story, their first question out of their mouth is, is that true? Because that's what makes it spooky. So we're going to start doing that. It's not going to take away from the podcast. I hope you guys are all on board. And if you know, and they're going to not have any violent, like super violence or sexual themes, no cussing or anything like that. They're going to be scary. It's not going to be like, oh, his guts hang out. And then like a sexy woman shows up and F this and F that. But we're not going to have any of that in there. Like it's going to be for the audience, but it's going to be scary. And we are going to go ahead and you'll I'll announce that before October comes around. And again, I'll do another announcement and we'll release those. That was a clip from our daily podcast, Dead Rabbit Radio. Dead Rabbit Radio is available anywhere that you listen to podcasts. It's daily paranormal, conspiracy, and true crime news. If you want to hear the full episode that this clip came from, check the link below. Please like and subscribe. And hit that little bell, too. That does some magical stuff. Thanks, guys.